Good morning dear brothers and sisters, today we will see the book of 2 Samuel chapters 23 and 24. Chapter 23 These are the last words of David, the beloved king of Israel. David, inspired by God's Spirit, spoke of his faithful leadership and the blessings he received as a ruler chosen by the Lord. He recalled God's covenant with him, describing how God had assured him of an everlasting dynasty, an everlasting covenant that would be realized through his descendants. David emphasized that this covenant was secure and complete, expressing his confidence in God's faithfulness. David, reflecting on the strength and valor of his mighty men, recounted their courageous acts. He spoke of Joshua Bashabeth, who wielded his spear against 800 warriors in a single encounter. He remembered Eliezer, who stood firm against the Philistines, and Shammah, who defended a field of lentils, securing a great victory for Israel. David also praised the Bishai, Joab's brother, for his remarkable deeds in battle. He remembered Benaiah, son of Jehoiada, who valiantly faced and defeated great opponents, and how he was set above David's mighty men due to his outstanding valor. David acknowledged the incredible valor and dedication of his warriors, reflecting on their courage and devotion to protecting and serving the kingdom. He knew that their strength came from the Lord, and he thanked God for providing him with such a loyal and capable army. Chapter 24 In the later days of David's reign, a troubling incident occurred. The anger of the Lord burned against Israel, inciting David to conduct a census. David instructed Joab, his commander, to count the people from Beersheba to Dan, which included all of Israel. Joab, apprehensive about the consequences of this action, questioned David's decision to conduct the census. He urged David to reconsider, reminding him that it was a sinful act that would bring calamity upon the nation. Despite Joab's counsel, David insisted on proceeding with the census. The process took nine months and twenty days to complete, revealing that there were 800,000 men capable of bearing arms in Israel and 500,000 in Judah. After the census, David's heart was filled with remorse, realizing his mistake and pridefully counting the people. He confessed his sin to the Lord, acknowledging his guilt and seeking forgiveness. God, displeased with David's actions, sent the prophet Gad to deliver a message of punishment. David was given three options, three years of famine, three months of fleeing from his enemies, or three days of pestilence in the land. David chose the third option, trusting in God's mercy over the cruelty of his enemies. The pestilence struck, and 70,000 men of Israel perished. As the angel of destruction stood poised to strike Jerusalem, God's compassion prevailed, and he commanded the angel to cease. David, in deep repentance and humility, erected an altar at the threshing floor of Arana the Jebusite, offering burnt offerings and peace offerings to the Lord. God accepted David's offering, and the calamity was averted. David built an altar on that very site, marking it as a place of worship. He recognized God's mercy and vowed to never offer burnt offerings that cost him nothing. These chapters reflect the concluding moments of David's reign, highlighting his reflections on his kingship and the challenges he faced. From the valor of his mighty men to the consequences of a prideful act, David's story is one of faith, repentance, and a deep understanding of God's sovereignty. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, seeking to understand the lessons within 2 Samuel chapters 23 and 24. We recognize the wisdom and spiritual insights woven into the narrative of David's final words and the trials he faced towards the end of his reign. Lord, we thank you for the wisdom and strength you granted David, enabling him to lead and inspire his mighty men. As we reflect on their courageous deeds, we are reminded of the power that comes from faith in you. Strengthen us in our faith, that we too may rise above challenges and act with valor and dedication. We acknowledge, O oh God, the perilous consequences of pride and disobedience, as seen in the account of David's ill-fated census. Help us learn from David's mistake, 
to remain steadfast in humility and obedience to your will. May we always turn to you in repentance when we err, seeking your mercy and forgiveness. Lord, like David, we lift our nation and its leaders before you. Guide them in making decisions that honor you and prioritize the welfare of the people. We pray for wisdom, discernment, and humility in leadership, that our nations may be led in a manner that aligns with your righteous ways. We also bring before you those in positions of authority in various capacities around the world. Grant them wisdom and compassion, that their actions may reflect your grace and justice. In times of trials and calamities, may we seek solace in your mercy, just as David sought you during the pestilence. Strengthen our faith and help us to turn our hearts towards worship and prayer during difficult times. Thank you, Lord, for the lessons from these chapters and for being our rock, our fortress, and our deliverer. May we continue to seek you and find our refuge in you alone. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, we will continue with the next chapters of 2 Samuel in the next video. Thank you, God bless you.